Okay, hi. Um, so I wanted to create a very uh, short video looking at how an AND gate works, so using a simulator. Uh, the simulator that I, I like to use is called logic.ly, um, and it's a really cool simulator that we can use. So um, on the left-hand pane here, we have various input controls, output controls, different logic gates, and then we can simply drag these over into this pane. But if I wanted to create a very simple example of an AND gate, well, I'm gonna have a two input AND gate. So I'm gonna to have to go up to my input controls. If I grab my toggle switch, so I wanna switch so the input can just simply be um, on or off. So I'm gonna have two inputs for my AND gate. Um, I'm gonna label these inputs, right? So if I scroll down here, I can see I have a label. And when I, I'm simply going to enter this as uh, input A, and then the other input is going to be input B. So I can see I get my labels down in the other, um, I suppose, section at the bottom of the list on the left hand side. So now I have two inputs, A and B. Right, so the gate we're going to have a look at is the AND gate. So I take out an AND gate like this. And now <clears throat> what we'd like to do is to be able to join the inputs by clicking on the dot at my input and dragging it over to the connector on the AND gate. Similarly for B. Now I join them up. Now these are going into my AND gate. Now I need some output controls. So I want to be able to visualize, well, what's actually happening here, yeah? So I'm going to add a bulb to it. And again, I'm going to join the bulb. So I'm going to get the connector for the output of the AND gate and join it over to the bulb. And now I have my AND gate, right? So I can see I've got two inputs, A and B. They're um, hooked up to different switches. Um, they're both currently off at the moment, connecting into the AND gate. And then the resultant of this gate is connecting out to the light bulb. So in theory, what should happen is when I have both of the inputs turned on for the AND gate. Well, this means the output of the AND gate should be on and then the light bulb should light up. So if I flick the switch um, on input A, I can see that we have the power now is coming down from input A and heading into the AND gate itself. And now if I turn on sorry, the switch for input B, I now see that the power now is traversing from B into the AND gate along with input A. And now what happens is the light bulb turns on. So if I was to turn off the switch from input A, well now again, B going into the AND gate along with A not being powered up, makes sure that the output of the AND gate is gonna be a false. And we can see that the light bulb doesn't light up. Okay, so we run down through the various um, options. So when we have A on and B on, so A is true, B is true, the resultant output of the AND gate is true, and we can see that the light bulb is powering up. If A is on and B is off, well then the resultant of the output is false and the light doesn't light up. And now, if A is off and B is off, the light bulb is off. And as A is off and B is on, the light bulb still remains off. So the AND gate, as we know from our other videos, uh, will only actually yield a true if both of the inputs are true. Okay, I hope that helps. Um,